Today I come to you by the grace of God to share with you the message which I believe is going to change your perception and to make you to become the best person that you can be and to grow spiritually, to be a person who understands things and live in peace and joy because we know stresses and uh, struggles come because of the unknown. When you don't know something, you will be stressed and you won't have peace because you don't know what is happening. So today I want to share with you about the last day uh, true church of God. The true church of God in the last days. What is that? Because you need to be in that church to be safe. Please do not uh, judge before I speak. Some people may have now started to suggest their churches. No, I'm not about to speak like that. I want to tell you the truth. Sometimes uh, it might not please you, but that's the truth, and uh, that's for you. And uh, I believe it is going to help you to come close to Jesus Christ. Let us have the word of prayer. Thank you, Lord, because you're going to teach us to help us to know it. I welcome the power of the Holy Spirit and His wisdom to use us uh, and to inspire to us and talk to us the message, which I believe is going to help everyone who is listening. In Jesus Christ, I pray, amen. So, friend, when the true church of God, in the Bible, when you lead, you, you find the groups. For example, you can go, to, you find the family of Abraham, that's for the church of God. And the, you, you go to the church of Jacob, the family, but still you go to the, the church of God, the Isaac, and then you go to Jacob, then you go to the Israel, the nation. God was the, was the God of the family like that one. But does not mean that when Abraham was living, there was no other people who worshipped God. We, we can trace that story. Uh, when, when, when Lot was taken captive and Abraham went to help him, what happened? He met the, the, the priest. Okay? Uh, okay. He, he met the priest. And that priest was called... Melchizedek, Melchizedek, okay? So that story tells us that there were people who worshipped God apart from Abram. But Abram had the special purpose. He had the mission. And God focused on him for the, purpose, for the issue of the mission that Jesus Christ had to pass through that genealogy of Abram. So let's come now. When we go to the New Testament, we find that the church, the early church, which started in Jerusalem, when they were praying 120 people and they received the Holy Spirit and they had to do the mission of preaching the word of God. That was the church of God. Because they believed in Jesus Christ, they had the mission that the church of God. So let us, if we come to this moment, we find different denominations. We find SDA, we find Baptists, we find Catholics, we find uh, evangelical churches, we find Protestant, different Protestant churches. And... Uh, different, really different, many denominations. But a person may say, what is the true church of God? When you define the true church of God, there are two things which are, are confused. And this, we must make them clear. These are spiritual things that you need to understand them. And I do believe they're going to help you. So be open-minded so that you may understand. And I don't force you to understand, uh, to accept, but I want you to understand, then you may reject the truth, what I'm speaking. And what is that? Uh, is this one. We have people who are the mission. We have people who belong to God. These are two people. The, the one given the mission may belong to God, but the other may have the mission but does not belong to God. For example, the church of God is known by God. Because but the Bible says that uh, the people who worship God, the Spirit, God knows them. They may not be determined by anyone. A spiritual person is not necessarily that it should be known by every person, that this one is, it, it belongs to God. That's, it's, it is just difficult. But sometimes you may understand them, may know who are these people who belongs to God. By the group of people who God uh, has chosen to give the mission, so that they can preach the certain message. Like the Israelites, now there were Midianites, 
they were given the message to preach about the, 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 the second coming, though they did not understand it. But they were given the Holy Spirit, as we spoke in the yesterday video, about the prophecy disappointment. If you haven't watched it, you may go and, and look about the prophecy disappointment. But now when we go to this time, we need to find the true church of God. The really true church of God. The, the church which has been given the mission in which in it there are people who belong to God and the people who do not belong to God. This is the SDA church. Why do I say the SDA church? This is the church, the Lemnant, who has been given the message to preach, to tell people that something is not right. They need to wake up uh, people in different churches and to wake up the people who belong to God in those churches so that they may come to God does not mean that they don't have God. They have God, but there are things that they don't know. We must understand this one. God works differently than how we think. For example, you might not know everything in the Bible or the truth, but still you have the Holy Spirit. We know the issue of Martin Luther. He had the Holy Spirit. He was given the mission to preach uh, the righteousness of faith. But you know what? He did not understand the issue of Sabbath keeping. Still, he had the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit never told him about that issue. So, how you can understand how God works? He works differently than human, because we humans, if we find a person has believed in Jesus, so we bombard him with a lot of knowledge that you have to do this, so you have to do this one, but God does not work in the same way. He works different. So, I believe in different churches, there are people of God, people who know God. We may find this in the statements of Jesus Christ when he says, my sheep Hear my voice. And you are not hearing my voice because you are not among of my sheep. So what we, do, we find is there are people, some are sinners, but still they are sheep of God. They hear the voice of God. They are of an inclination to God to find Jesus Christ. They have desire of being saved. And so God finds them where they are. This is the church of God. The church of God are the people who believe in Jesus Christ. They are people who are going to be saved by grace in Jesus Christ. They are in different domination. But you may say, uh, maybe I'm saved and then I'm in other denomination. Will it make me get lost? No. Do I have to stay there? No. Why? I have to give the, this reason easy. I believe in Jesus Christ. I've been saved. I've been baptized. I've been. I've been. I have the Holy Spirit, but I don't know all things. So what I have to do is to keep learning. And if a new knowledge comes, because it comes from God, and I have the Holy Spirit in myself, it will tell me that this is my message. So accept it, and it direct me where to go. So we need to understand that the true church of God in the last days are people who believe in Jesus Christ. But what about SDA? Because I'm a Seventh-day Adventist and I believe some of the Adventists may ask what the position of our church in being the true church of God. This is the, the church of God in the matter of the mission. You have given the mission to do certain big tasks of preaching the three angels' message and preparing people for the second coming of Jesus. This is our mission. We have to do it. And doing it does not guarantee us to have kingdom of God, to have the salvation. No. You are not saved because you have joined, you have subscribed to this church. No, no, not. We are saved because we have accepted Jesus Christ. So you may come to this church, as you may see different pastors and other people. You may come to this church and work hard in the mission, but still get lost. It's easy. Why? Because you are doing the work of the Lord without knowing the Lord himself. So you are you're just there to, 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 to help, to, to, to fasten, to help the mission, but you are not going. You just want others to go. That's why if you're joining this church, please, please make sure you know Jesus Christ personally. Unless otherwise you will get the privilege of being in this church, but not eternal life. So not be confused by things that are happening and to make sure that because this church has miracles of this one, oh, 
You need to have Jesus. You need to accept Jesus Christ. You need to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And what about other churches? I do believe in different churches. God is still working. Churches which are really connected to serve God, though they don't know some of the truth in the Bible. They are different churches who are hard, hard free. They are just working. They are what, worshiping pastors, are preaching the word of God. How they know? And they are preaching. They are not Adventists. They are different, they are different churches. They are working day and night, praying for their members, working to save people, going to be missionaries. They are just doing all. They are people of God. And God looks at them with love. That's why when we go to heaven, we want to go in heaven and find all people whom I worship in the, in the same denomination. No. There will be a lot of people, different. And some I, feel I've even, I, don't, I may find that I've even not think about that they will have eternal life. So friends, just to inform you, if you want to be in the last church, the true church of God, you have to do two things. The first one, believe in Jesus Christ. The second one, worship with among people who calls upon the name of God with the heart. Not trust on person. Not trust on how many books the person carries. Not put your trust on the, how a person preaches. Not put your trust on how a person uh, testifies. You just put your trust on the word of God and have a, a vertical relationship with God yourself. We will make sure that we are true. A person may ask another question is, the book of Revelation 14, 12 t t talks about the people, the church of God in the last days, said that these are the passions of the saints which keeps the, uh, keep the commandments of God and are the faith of Jesus. What does that say? This tells about the person, not about the church. It talks about the saints, individuals. It's not about the church. So, People who are keeping the commandments of God and having the faith of Jesus are the ones who are going to survive. This is the last day church. And these are individuals, not group. These are individuals which forms the group. But not that because a group, it's not like because the group or denomination uh, speak that about the Ten Commandments, therefore everyone who is under that umbrella is going to be saved. No. It's because these are individuals who calls upon the name of the Lord with pure heart. And they keep the commandments of God. A person may say, what is that? A person may, may be keeping the commandments of God, not knowing something that is breaking, but his whole heart is upon obeying it. These he has the faith of Jesus Christ. And when the knowledge comes, he just twists. He just obeying, keeping the Sunday, believing that's the Sabbath of the Lord. And then the time comes when he's preached, he changes only the day. Because his heart is loving God. But the people who believe that we are covered with the umbrella of righteousness of God and the, we are covered in the, in the, the church, so they are just worshipping on the Sabbath and keeping it, but still they are just evil. Collapsed. Adulterers. Doing things that even a, a, a normal person cannot do. Because we are covered with an, an umbrella of, of being the true church of God, that does not mean that if I, I'm in the true church which, which say that we have to keep the whole commandments of God and because I'm here, then I break them. Do I believe that the, that, that the, 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 the promise of, 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 of Revelation 14, 12 is not about me? I'm not among those people. Even if I'm the true church which believes on that text, that these are the signs of the end time people, who are going to be saved. And then, because um, in that umbrella, so I believe that I'm going to be saved because this church believes on, on, on certain texts in the Bible. No. It's your individuality. As a person, have you sacrificed your time to be in Jesus Christ? Have you worshipped yourself with the blood of Jesus Christ? And a person may ask, this is now is about perfection. No, this is not about perfection. It's about your heart being true to God. That I've accepted Jesus Christ as my personal savior. I'm covered by his blood, his righteousness. I'm not going to be there because of what I'm doing. 
I'm going to be there because of what he did. And I talk to him as my friend. That's my life how it is. He directs my path. I don't live as I want. I live as he wants. He's my friend. I know sometimes I do something wrong. But still God is my friend. I'm in a certain denomination. I haven't known all the truth. But still God is my friend. That's light. You're going to go in heaven, my friend. Or not. But if the message is preached about what you have to do and it's, it, is just, it is just confirmed by the word of God, there's no need to stay in wrong. You have to move because you have the Holy Spirit. You can detect the voice of Jesus Christ. So friend, I just want to inform you that the true church of God at the end time are the people, individuals, who have accepted Jesus Christ as the personal savior, they're not struggling to be saved, but still in their life, they live the life of obedience to the Ten Commandments of God, not only ten, all the commandments. It does not tell about the Ten Commandments. It talks about the commandments of God. This is not about Ten Commandments alone. This is the faith of Jesus, of people who keeps the commandments. It does not say who keeps the Ten Commandments. The commandments. Oh, love your neighbor as, your, as yourself. Do not judge other people. All the teachings, all the commandments of God, they just, they have their hearts. They love people. They love God. They live simple life, humble life. They don't try to be extravagant in religion and become a show of, show people that's who, that's I'm a Christian. There's no need to show people who you are. But I want to encourage you, friend. You may be half hammered by the devil in a certain sin. Do not give up. If you choose Jesus Christ as your personal savior, you have done it all. Because he's going to save you. He, starts, he will start to work on you because he knows you and he knows better than how you may think. So, friend, accept Jesus Christ as your personal savior. Give your life to him. And he will direct your path every day of your life. And become the member of the true church of God. We may stand more, a lot of things. But today I wanted to share with you this. I believe it is going to help you. May God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen.